Coming to you from the Carol Blanton Ferris Law Firm Studios. It's the A1 Minute brought to you by Long and Foster. It's Kelly, all right, here we go. On Wednesdays, y'all know I check in with the weather homie, Sean Sublet. And let's start with the good news of a mostly comfortable summer weekend with temperatures in the high 80s and low 90s and a low chance of showers. But before then, we'll have a chance of thunderstorms today and Thursday with temperatures near 90. Stay tuned for changes at A1 Weather Minute at Richmond.com. And in Charlottesville, a year has now gone by since Confederate statues of Robert E. Lee and Thomas Stonewall Jackson have been removed, but the statue's fate have yet to be resolved. The Jefferson School African American Heritage Center was granted ownership of the Lee statue, but its ownership is now contested by two organizations suing the city. Despite the lawsuit and backlash, the Heritage Center is moving ahead on its public input process as to what to do with the statue. And lastly, the Library of Virginia has announced 14 finalists for the 25th Annual People's Choice Awards. The finalists represent fiction and nonfiction titles by Virginia authors or about Virginia, which were published in 2021. The public is invited to vote for the winners online starting today through August 31st. In addition to the award, the selected winners in each category received a monetary prize of $2,500. All right, that's it. Make sure you bookmark richmond.com backslash VVN and catch the latest videos and look for a new edition of 8 at 4 later today. Get interactive at RTD News and Virginia Video Network on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll talk to you tomorrow for another edition of A1 Minute, brought to you by Long & Foster Real Estate.